Comparative statics analysis considers the impact on market equilibrium of shifts in demand and supply, that is, changes in market conditions outside the control of participants in the market. We'll consider a generic demand shifter alpha, such as the price of a complement or substitute or average family income, and a generic supply shifter beta, such as input prices or measures of the impact of weather, technological innovation, or other exogenous forces. In an earlier screencast, I showed how the equilibrium requirement that quantity demanded equal quantity supply at the equilibrium price yields a prediction about how the equilibrium price will respond to a change in a demand shift or alpha. In textbook problems, when linear demand and supply curves are given, then the partial derivatives are just the corresponding slopes. In practical applications, what analysts know is more limited. We likely know the current equilibrium price and quantity and have estimates of demand and supply elasticities. Hence, it will become convenient to consider the responsiveness of equilibrium price in elasticity form. To transform the slope to an elasticity for a demand shifter, multiply both sides of the equality by alpha over p, and then divide the right-hand side numerator and denominator by q, both steps leaving the equality unchanged. Distributing these ratios yields this expression. But these are just elasticities. The numerator is the elasticity of quantity demanded with respect to alpha, and the denominator is the difference between the price elasticity of supply and the own price elasticity of demand. The equation says that the responsiveness of the equilibrium price to a change in alpha, a change in the demand shifter, equals the ratio of the responsiveness of quantity demanded to the change in that shifter, holding price constant, over the difference between the responsiveness of supply and the responsiveness of demand. Thus, this expression captures the three effects underlying comparative statics. The shift in a curve, here demand, and adjustment in price along the supply and demand curves needed to restore equality between the quantity demanded and supply. Since elasticity captures the percentage change in one variable resulting from a percentage change in another, we can find the percentage change in the equilibrium price resulting from a percentage change in the demand shifter by computing this expression. For example, if the cross price elasticity of demand between Q and good X is 9, the elasticity of supply is 0 0.5, and the own price elasticity of demand is negative 2.5, then a 10% increase in the price of the substitute good X will result in a let's say 9 over 0 0.5 minus negative 2.5 or 9 over 3 times 0.1 equals 30 percent 30 percent increase in the equilibrium price of Q. Only demand has shifted so, the price increase results in a movement along the supply curve. The percentage change in quantity is equal to the elasticity of supply multiplied by the percentage change in price. So, the 30% change in price multiplied by 0 0.5 equals a 15% change in quantity supplied. That is, quantity sold in equilibrium. If initially 
100 units were being sold at $4, then the shift out in demand results in the equilibrium price rising by 30%, by 30% of $4 or $1.20 for a new price of $5.20. Equilibrium quantity rises by 15% of 100 for a new level of $115. We don't need to know the full shape of the demand and supply curves to get a good estimate of the impact of the increase in the price of the substitute good on sellers of Q. The producer surplus has risen by one half of 1.2, the change in price, times 100 plus 115, the, two, the quantities at the two equilibria, or $129. Now it's your turn. Starting with the slope, show that the elasticity of the equilibrium price with respect to a supply shifter, beta, equals this expression. Your notes should now contain all the tools you need to trace out comparative statics effects of changes in demand and supply shifters.